We are so glad to have Dr. Stephen Marsh join us right now for our lunch hour and maybe your lunch hour too, Dr. Marsh. It's good to see you. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, we were glad to fit you into our schedule today because I can tell you it's been quite busy and that's a that's some evidence of what we what we're looking at today as well. Well, how have you been doing? How have you been keeping up during this whole COVID thing, if you will? Well, I have to tell you, our team has done a really uh, terrific job. We have two hygienists, Amy and Debbie. They've kept on schedule. It does take a little more time to prepare in between patients, uh, but we're doing that for the safety of the patients and our team. Um, and we're finding a lot of people are doing work who have put things off and, and now they have the time or the ambition to go ahead and get the work done. So now that you've been back now for the last five months, what are you seeing coming through your office? Is it usual dental work and maintenance, if you will, routine things or more involved? So it's a little of both, Joe. Um, in fact, you know, one of the things that we're seeing and we think it's stress related and you may have read an article in the New York Times about it. Some people, people are breaking teeth more and they think they're grinding. We call it bruxism because of the stress. So sometimes it's breaking off an old crown. It's breaking off a filling, that sort of thing. So some of it is maintenance like that. Some of it is getting their teeth cleaned and they've waited for uh, more than six months to get them done. And sometimes it's people who have the time finally to go ahead and get dental work done that they wanted to get done for a very long time. And sometimes it's kids being home who uh, wouldn't normally be back in Cleveland. So a little bit of everything. I'm sure, I'm sure you're seeing it all and doing it all. So what do you say you show us some of your work right now? Uh, I love it when we visit your patients before and after photos. Thanks. And, and I'm glad to do it. And these before and after are the people we've taken care of uh, in the last few months. So this patient came in and he had a temporary bridge made many years ago, and now he's working from home. So he hadn't had the time to do it. He said, let's do it brighter. I'd like to do more of my work in the future. And Joe, that's a four tooth zirconium bridge. It's very bright, it's wonderful. And he finally got rid of that temporary that he was unhappy with. And I can tell you his wife, uh, Greg's wife was really unhappy with it. So he was happy to get that work done. And a happy wife is a happy life and a beautiful smile going along, going along with it. And this is Pat. So Pat had some dental work done years ago. This is old bridge work, Joe. In the past, we used to use a metal core on top of uh, the teeth and then a, either a porcelain or a plastic covering to give it an, a look. Um, today, we were able to do it again with porcelain to give uh, her that beautiful look and something she's proud of. This is somebody else who spent a lot of time working, hadn't had the time. She liked to come in 7.15 in the morning. So we were able to take off the old bridge work. We actually took out a little decay that was underneath and then put together this beautiful bridge and she's thrilled with it. And actually she's gonna whiten her other teeth, which is a very nice compromise to give her a beautiful smile. I love the fact that you can work around so many patients' schedules. I mean, you, you, have, you have Pat there that was coming in so early in the morning and you said, no problem, we'll work you in. Well, we start that early to try to accommodate. So thank you for appreciating it. No, that's awesome. Oh, so this is Hallie and Hallie's a teacher and she had what's called decalcification. And it's always bothered her. She's 25 years old. Her teeth came in that way, Joe. This is a, something we're seeing more and more of. Sometimes they think it's from too much fluoride. Sometimes it's just developmentally an issue with the enamel. It just doesn't harden right. So you can see different spots. You can see some yellowing and that sort of thing. So Hallie finally had the time um, as a teacher to come in. She's doing teaching um, virtually, if you will. So we did six porcelain veneers. Again, she wants to do more in the future, but this not only makes it look better, but Joe, we were able to eliminate some of that enamel that wasn't very wow. strong. And uh, again, we can see that she'll need more work in the back, but again, at least for now, she got these front six teeth done. That is a brilliant smile. And then we have time for one more patient. I understand this is Kevin, correct? Yeah, and Kevin has a busy business and um, in construction. He's actually been busier than ever, but he also said, I need to do uh, for my mouth what I do for other people. Um, and so his wife encouraged him to get this work done. And you can see in the top, Joe, we've actually done 10 porcelain veneers. We moved the tissue with a laser actually to give him that smile. We will do the lowers in the future. We just reshaped him. And Kevin said he's never been as proud to smile. And when he calls on clients now, he's not afraid to, to take a big, wide smile and show him what his teeth look like. So well, win-win. That's, that's exactly right. Well, whether you want a cleaning from Amy or Debbie or you want to get 
a little bit more advanced dental work done from the entire team at Dr. Marsh's office, give them a call, 440-461-1003, or go to the website, clevelandsmiles.com. Doctor, as always, thank you so much for sharing with us. My pleasure. Thanks, Joe.